Hello, my name is Christian from Tradewola, trading with know-how and transparency. Today we want to talk about um, Apple and the potential how much more it can go down or if it is already a good investment at a price where Apple is at the moment. All this information and uh, much more for Apple we will discuss here soon. Just make sure that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos to so subscribe here to our channel. I would be also happy if you leave a comment or a like and um, one of the next topics um, we can definitely also take one of your favorite stocks for example. So just uh, leave a comment and uh, we will go now here to the screen. Yeah, we see here the chart of Apple on a weekly basis. The first question, is Apple already a cheap pick uh, for your stock portfolio? I think if we see it on the bigger picture and especially when we have a look where it was before Corona started, it was like um, half of the price where we are now. So of course it's not at the all time high, but um, as we can see, it's still in a range uh, where it was um, the whole year. A lot of expectations, especially when we see it here in the option screening. I will go just here to the daily interval. We can see there's an increase of put options. For example, yesterday we had here 900,000 uh, put options comparing to only 800,000 call options. Normally it's always more call options what we see than um, put options. And now Apple is the stock with the most put options. Before it was always Tesla. So we can see from the expectation at least for the next month or two um, it should go a little bit more down. At least these are all the bets what we see here in uh, our option screening. We have a very interesting example on the left hand side. It's put option on $145. So a lot of people also think it will go down to $130. What is the last uh, low from mid of June? So this can be really an interesting level. Even if you plan maybe to uh, buy Apple stocks, I would recommend to wait a little bit. I'm sure in the next weeks um, you will see cheaper prices uh, than what we have here. If you want to see more or learn more about option trading, just check our description or our website. You will find um, more interesting information, especially also for um, how to create put spreads um, or what options you have um, to participate in markets um, where everything is uh, going down. Let's have a more detailed look here in the level what we see in our Fibonacci retracements. Here we can see Apple is at the moment exactly in uh, the middle of the range. We have here 50%. So like I said, there's um, still a good way to go comparing to the market or maybe other indices. Apple is still holding quite well. And for a long term um, investor or buy and hold investor, I think Apple is still a good chance um, to invest. But for a short period of time, we are really keen or we're really looking forward that Apple might go a little bit more down. 130 can be here one target. How does it look like from the news at the moment from this side? Other than there's a high option volume, what I already told you in the beginning, there is not much. The demand on Apple iPhone is still very strong and maybe there's um, nothing left then for the Christmas sale. Some senators are um, concerned about the deal with a Chinese uh, chip maker. But all in all, we don't see much negative news at the moment for Apple. The next earnings should be expected by the end of October. But uh, what is also interesting, if we have a look at the whole sector, there's a sector ETF with uh, XLK. What the main share is Apple. And here we can see technology index um, or as an ETF here, we are on a very interesting level. And here many bets uh, for the, this sector are also assuming that it's going more down. Everything what we see, not only in our um, option screening shows that tech um, industry or this sector in particular, there's a big chance that we will have a more downside in the next weeks. It's also interesting now in October, of course, with the earnings, but I think we will see the major movement already before the earnings from this side. Apple and Microsoft are the biggest um, shares in this ETF. We think this can be both an interesting investment for a short position at the moment. Just for a short period of time, um, we don't see any long positions. Normally, it's also unusual 
put or um, going downside. It's normally always for a short period of time. That's why, um, yeah, for the moment, um, especially um, short investors, they can have a great performance because I think there'll be some interesting um, weeks ahead and can be a very interesting yeah, autumn for, especially for day traders. Yeah, I think this was quite interesting to see what um, drives Apple at the moment, what are the expectations, um, how much more it can go down and uh, what are all the news around um, Apple and uh, how the next months um, can go. So I think, um, yeah, for the next stop, I will be happy for any of your comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and um, hope to see you soon. Stay safe. See you soon.